it's morning and I'm starting to clean up my grow beds. Um, this is September, late September, so early spring. I pulled out the, the stubs of the, the cabbage in this bed, making sure that I keep the stones or the pebbles. There they. Whoops, she's very bright. Got no compost bin, so they're going in there. And next will be I'll be harvesting. Well, pulling out half of these broccoli that have gone wild, gone to seed. Um, I keep the other half on both beds to continue their work, removing nutrients. And I'm putting in my my spring seedlings. Catch you in a second. Okay, let's just. Start pulling some of these fellas out. A bit of a, all the pebbles. That's ripper. It's done a good job getting rid of the nutrients for the fish. Got to try and get as many stones out as possible. Not all that fast. Hey, there is a worm. I'll be blowed. The worms I put in, you might remember. Breeding. Here's another one. The size of this fella. Whoa. Beauty. There we go. Murray was right. We can put worms in. Okay. I'll just get most of the stones I can out. Not going to be too fast. Not be a teaspoon of stones there. Any more worms in there? Can't see any. There's a few there though. There he is. So, very useful little gardener here. Excellent. Oh, I'm very pleased to see that. I'm going to use my faith in what I've been doing for the past nine months or so. There we go, that one came out pretty easy. Hardly any stones left in that one. How easy is it to, uh, to get these fellas out? when you've got another one when you're using these uh, clay pebbles they are fantastic so easy to work with so what I'll do is take out half of these tidy it up clean a lot of the rubbish that's sitting in the bed and I'll be planting my seedlings so I'll be back in a moment I'm uh, putting my tomatoes, my favourites, the gross lizzies. Here they are. Now, I've got them on the edge here so that I can, I'll try and train them to go down, but I think gross lizzies like going up. Here's my Tommy Toe. Um, as you can see, I've basically cut down the size by half. These will continue to, to um, use up nutrients while these get established. Once they're established, they go out and I'll pl plant something else. And over this side, um, my lettuce. So, got them out, the punnet. Just throw the punnet in there, in the bucket of water. And there they are, ready to put in the end of the pebbles. Just pick them out. There's three. I'll just move them around. I have to make sure I've got my tomatoes away from the... There's one there and one there. I'm going to have so many tomatoes, I tell you. They're like broccoli. Um, I've got to try and keep those tomatoes away from the siphon over here. There's my siphon. What will happen is the roots will, the roots will grow in there and block that up, tomatoes go crazy. Like mint, stay away from mint. Blimey, it'll take over your whole grow bed. So, what I'm doing is, uh, that's why they're in this bed over here, because the siphon is at that end. My tomatoes can spread their roots all over, and this is the, the inlet. As you can see, it's, it's only slow. That's because the um, pumps are of various, two different speeds got two pumps and uh, if I speed this input 
any further then the pump pumping out of the sump will drain my sump as it has done. Right, let me just get from another angle. That sun is bright, isn't it? I've got my head out of the way. As you can see, the, the cabbage are going to seed. Isn't that pretty flower? So that will attract the bees. Isn't that lovely? I'll leave that one there for a while. So they're, they're certainly ready to harvest, but I want them to um, continue using up the nutrients from the fish because the fish are getting bigger, they're eating more and they're pooping more. So here we go. So that's what I've done. Cut them back by about a half. Both of them. Only take a couple of weeks. Hopefully we don't get any frost. There's my beautiful blueberry. Blueberry Denise, I think it is. That's going to be a stunner. The blackbirds like them. They come down and eat them. 